And today we're on the computer again talking about Logi options or Logitech options. You can download this from the link in the description below from Logitech's website. And obviously, uh, in order to really use this, you need some sort of Logitech mouse, keyboard, or accessory. And yeah, I just wanted to talk about it because Logitech has always been one of my favorite accessory makers for computers, specifically the MX Master series of mouse. I had the MX Master uh, version one for literally, I think like six years or whenever it came out until about two months ago when I upgraded to the MX Master 3 and I'm absolutely loving it and I haven't actually gone in here and customized much of anything so I thought I'd show you around um, and kind of take a peep at to what the features offer because um, the mouse out of the box uh, really isn't living up to its full potential here so uh, as you can see when you have something connected, you are going to uh, see that specific device loaded up here and you're going to see all these little dots and these are basically all the zones and buttons in which you can customize. So a lot of people don't know, but on the MX Master, this bottom part is actually a clickable button. I'm clicking it right now and it's doing something on another screen. And right now, if I click on it, uh, I'm going to get a whole whole bunch of options so don't let this overwhelm you um, basically you have a handful of recommended options and then everything else is broken down by uh, kind of category here so that can make it look nice and easy and so it's really nice that you have literally so many options for what you can choose uh, in here and it doesn't stop there we're going to talk about uh, specific applications in just a few minutes uh, and at the very bottom there is a do nothing option as well now as soon as you click away pretty much saves whatever uh, your last option was so as i hover over this i can see it says none up there and then again i can click on anything else and again, it brings up the recommended features, but I can hit more. And every button's gonna have a slightly different list of what it can do because some are push buttons, some are wheels. And so yeah, you can also go under point and scroll. This is probably the most changed things where you can change your pointer speed. So if you set it really high, I'm barely moving my mouse and it's going crazy all over the screen. I know a lot of people who really like this. I can't stand that feel like it can't be accurate at all so I actually like mine pretty low about a third of the way up scrolling speed the direction and then depending on what mouse you have you're going to see some other options like smart shift uh, this has which basically knows the difference between slow scrolling so right now I'm rolling this wheel and I can feel each individual click and then if I flick it it kind of loosens and goes all the way. Now this I haven't seen before, this is new. Uh, so welcome to Logitech Flow. Seamlessly switch between computers moving across the screen. Wow, that's really cool. So I won't be able to utilize this because I don't have a second computer near me right now. So if you have multiple computers, uh, Logitech has this really nifty device. Actually, Apple just uh, implemented a feature like this in their latest uh, iOS 15 and Mac. OS uh, monetary, whatever it's called. Let's go back to this here and the mouse. So you'll notice in the top right, it says all applications. So what that means is these are what the buttons will generally do no matter where you are in the computer. But what's really cool is there are a lot of uh, applications included by default, especially pro apps, or you can add in your own from your list of apps that you have installed on your computer. And you can actually make app specific uh, modifications or custom controls. So that way for all applications, I would have the existing settings we just talked about, but maybe I have DaVinci Resolve open. And now instead of a horizontal scroll, I want this to be a zoom or a volume control, or I can assign a keystroke to it and I can put that keystroke in here. So I don't want to do it to that one, but maybe right here, I want to put um, play pause. That can be useful. So instead of the space bar, my hand is already on the mouse. So why not uh, be able to play from there? It's pretty cool. So now again, when I have DaVinci Resolve open, if I press this, it's going to play pause. As soon as I leave DaVinci Resolve, it's going to do nothing. 
So that's really cool. And obviously if you have multiple devices, you can add devices down here and you would get to choose between them. You can set up your account. So I really love the customizability of uh, their devices and you have a few more options down here. So under the more, uh, one of the things that's really neat is if you spend a lot of time customizing, especially if you get into app specific uh, options here, then what you'll want to do is go under backups and create a backup. And then what that will do is if you were to ever, I don't know, accidentally reset the mouse, maybe pair it to a co another computer and Logitech options has to be reinstalled and it doesn't show up, then all you can do is um, basically restore from this backup and you know, you'd go under here and then you would get all those customized settings back. And of course, if you want to get rid of everything, you can restore defaults and even get a nice little feature tour, which is going to take you around whatever uh, device you are currently using to show you all the highlighted features. Uh, so that's really cool. So yeah, all you Logitech owners, if you want to check this out more and customize your devices for yourself, check out the link down in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow for another Apps Every Day.